Can you believe that the beverage you consume on a regular basis might be endangering your kidneys? Did you know that kidney illness affects almost one in three persons in the United States? On a daily basis, almost 50% of Americans consume substances that have the potential to harm their kidneys and increase the risk of premature death by an estimate of 5 to 10. Which drinks, then, are you advised to avoid? Why aren't you aware of what smart drinkers know? Continue to observe. Just a little while from now, we'll go over the seven drinks that are worst for your kidneys and how to cut back or eliminate them entirely. At the very end of this video, you will find some shocking facts. And don't miss out on the delicious and nutritious substitutes for these drinks that we'll reveal right after this. This video contains only factually correct material that has been double-checked by medical specialists. All right, let's speak about the worst drinks that may swiftly destroy your kidneys. 7. Diet Sodas Diet drinks can appear like a better option to conventional sodas since they contain no sugar or calories, but they may offer similar or even higher hazards to kidney health. Despite the lack of sugar, these drinks employ artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, saccharin, sucralose, and ACE-K, which have been associated to decrease kidney function. A research indicated that consuming two or more colas daily increases the risk of chronic kidney disease. CKD, whether they are regular or diet colas. Additionally, taking more than one diet soda each day may elevate the risk of high blood pressure, diabetes, heart attack, stroke, and even death. For a healthy alternative to diet soda, consider sparkling water with a dash of lemon juice for taste. You may also blend genuine fruit juice with sparkling water for a delightful, healthful choice. When you desire something sweet, Try using natural sweeteners like stevia and erythritol, which won't increase your blood sugar or strain your kidneys and may even give antioxidants. 6. Alcohol. A normal drink is described as a 12-ounce beer, a 5-ounce glass of wine, or a 1.5-ounce shot of liquor. Heavy drinking is more than 3 drinks per day or 7 per week for women and more than 4 drinks per day or 14 per week for males. Heavy drinking may double your risk of kidney disease. Alcohol disturbs your body's water equilibrium, producing increased urine output and dehydration. Over time, persistent dehydration might harm your kidneys. Alcohol can also indirectly injure your kidneys by boosting your blood pressure, particularly when you consume more than two drinks a day. High blood pressure is a key risk factor for kidney disease. Heavy drinking can also harm your liver which in turn can badly affect your kidneys. Binge drinking, defined as having more than four to five drinks in two hours, can boost your blood alcohol levels to unsafe levels. This can lead to severe kidney damage and may require dialysis. Although acute kidney injury normally recovers, it can sometimes cause lifelong harm. Men should limit their intake to one or two drinks per day, while women and those over 65 should keep to one drink per day. Five. Sweetened tea and coffee. Iced tea and coffee are popular drinks, especially during the summer, but they could harm your health, particularly your kidney function. Many commercially produced iced teas include significant quantities of added sugars and calories. A 12 ounce portion can include roughly 28 grams of sugar, equivalent to sodas or fruit juices. Excessive sugar intake can contribute to obesity and aggravate diabetes, both important risk factors for kidney damage. Flavored coffee beverages, such as cappuccinos, can contain harmful fats from toppings such as whipped cream and have high sugar content. Additionally, tea and coffee contain caffeine, a recognized diuretic that can promote dehydration. Proper hydration is crucial for your kidneys to operate efficiently and maintain electrolyte balance. Prolonged dehydration stresses your kidneys and might lead to damage over time. Monitor your caffeine consumption and red labels carefully. The FDA advises a daily limit of 400 mg of caffeine for adults. Pregnant or breastfeeding adults and small children should avoid caffeinated beverages. Consuming 200 mg or more of caffeine may produce symptoms such as headaches, anxiety, sleep issues, stomach trouble, and muscle twitching. High caffeine intake can also elevate blood pressure, which may damage the blood vessels in your kidneys. Very high dosages of caffeine, above 10 mg per kilogram of body weight per day, can lead to significant health complications such as chest discomfort, irregular heartbeat, 
and stroke. Toxic effects, including seizures, can develop at roughly 1,200 mg of caffeine, which is comparable to 12 to 16 cups of coffee. 4. Energy drinks. Energy drinks are among the least healthful selections. They are meant to offer you a short energy boost using lawful stimulants and are described as boosting cognitive focus and physical performance. These drinks typically claim to include extra amino acids, vitamins, and other substances, but these claims are not regulated by the FDA and lack scientific basis. Despite marketing, energy drinks are not actually healthy. They generally include high quantities of salt, sugar, artificial sweeteners, and caffeine, all of which can affect your kidneys. Though rare, energy drinks can sometimes cause acute kidney issues. For instance, a guy had severe kidney disease after consuming significant volumes of Red Bull daily for two to three weeks in 2014. Energy drinks often carry 54 to 62 grams of sugar in a 16-ounce serving, above the recommended daily consumption. The excessive sugar and artificial sweetener intake might strain your kidneys and lead to health concerns. Additionally, these drinks contain high quantities of salt, which might raise your risk of kidney stones and high blood pressure, damage your kidney's blood vessels. Energy drinks also contain high levels of caffeine. An 8-ounce portion contain 80150 milligrams of caffeine, which can be similar to 5 ounces of coffee. Larger cans may contain over 500 milligrams of caffeine, above the daily recommended maximum of 300 to 400 mg. Excessive caffeine can dehydrate you and stress your kidneys. Read labels carefully and seek for Garena, which may contribute more caffeine than the label recommends. For a safer energy boost, consider herbal teas like peppermint or ginger and remember to remain hydrated with water. Instead of energy drinks, consider eating entire fruits or preparing natural smoothies for a healthier option. 3. Low-fat yogurt drinks Yogurt may be a nutritious food, but not all varieties are the same. Low-fat yogurts frequently include extra sugars or sweeteners to make up for lost taste. These chemicals can affect your kidneys. For instance, one cup of low-fat yogurt might have approximately 45 grams of sugar, or nearly 11 teaspoons. This surpasses the daily sugar restrictions recommended by health groups. High sugar intake might damage your kidney's capacity to reabsorb calcium, enhancing the risk of kidney stones. Low-fat yogurt may also lose certain health benefits including vitamins and calcium. Choose full-fat yogurt with minimal to no added sugar. Avoid types of sugar like corn syrup or evaporated cane juice. Instead, add your own fruit to plain yogurt for taste. Making yogurt at home is a healthier alternative than buying store-bought versions. Homemade choices frequently include fewer ingredients and are budget-friendly. 2. Fruit Punch Store-bought fruit punch and concentrated fruit juices could appear be healthful solutions, especially for youngsters, but they generally contain little natural fruit juice and excessive levels of added sugars. Excess sugar intake can raise the risk of high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes, all of which are important risk factors for kidney problems. Around 30% of persons with type 1 diabetes and 10-40% to with type 2 diabetes may have kidney failure over time. According to the CDC, fewer than 10% of your daily calories should come from added sugar, about 50 grams for a 2,000-calorie diet. The AIGA recommends an even lower limit, 24 grams for women and 36 grams for men. A 12-ounce serving of fruit punch can contain roughly 40 grams of sugar, over twice the AAs recommended. This high sugar content might raise blood sugar levels, placing stress on your kidneys. Some juices can include chemicals and preservatives that may contribute to kidney stones. To preserve your kidneys, check labels carefully and pick whole fruit or 100% fruit juice instead. Making your own juice at home is a healthier alternative. 1. Soda. When it comes to kidney health, avoiding sodas is vital. Soda is primarily water but includes toxic chemicals that have been related to kidney illness in numerous studies. Sodas have substantial sugar content, with a 16-ounce soda containing roughly 155 calories and 40 to 50 grams of sugar. This quantity is at or over the CDC's daily sugar limit and nearly double the American Heart Association's AA recommended. Reducing sugary drinks is vital for your kidneys and general health.
Drinking sugary drinks can enhance your chance of kidney stones, which are solid deposits that cause significant discomfort and impede kidney function. In a study involving nearly 194,000 individuals over eight years, researchers discovered that those who drank the most sugar-sweetened cola had a 23% increased chance of acquiring kidney stones. Sodas, particularly dark-colored ones, contain phosphorus from preservatives and additions such polyphosphates. This phosphorus might be dangerous if you have issues with your kidneys. A study of chronic kidney disease, CKD, individuals not on dialysis indicated that high phosphate levels increase the chance of needing dialysis or dying.